Hello viewers, uh, welcome to today's video. The purpose of today's video is to help students preparing for various exams. And uh, for today I have chosen the topic heat budget or the heat balance of the earth. Uh, see, the temperature of the earth remains by and large constant and this is despite the fact that the earth continuously receives insulation from the sun. So we will see how this happens in this video. See, uh, suppose about 100 units of insulation come from the sun and out of these 100 units, 27 units are reflected back from the top of the clouds and 6 units from the outer atmosphere and about 2 units from snow and ice. Now, this becomes 35 units. Now, this 35 units is also called the albedo of the earth. Albedo basically means the reflectivity of a surface. So please remember, Earth's albedo is about 35%. Now out of the remaining 65 units, 51 units are actually absorbed by the Earth's surface and the remaining 14 units are absorbed by the atmosphere. Now these 51 units are re-radiated back after a certain time lag and this time lag is enough to run various atmospheric and weather phenomena and also certain cycles that run on the Earth like some chemical cycles and biological cycles uh, and now what happens is uh, the atmosphere basically gets heated up from the long wave terrestrial radiation so about 34 units are absorbed by the atmosphere which are emitted from the 51 units that we had earlier seen so now atmosphere's heat budget would be 14 plus 34 which is equal to 48. Now uh, out of the remaining units which would now be 17, these 17 units are directly sent back to the space. So now if we calculate it, it would be 35 plus 48 plus 17 and this would be 100. So this is how the earth temperature is maintained so, and this is called the heat budget or the heat balance of the earth so please uh, stay tuned for more videos i might be uploading more videos soon thank you very much